Hello and welcome to Crank Your Damn Just to 11. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, my chemo bag, um, which you can see right there. But you're going to see better in a few minutes. Um, this is a bag that I bought specifically for my nine rounds of chemo at Johns Hopkins. Uh, I, I'm probably had done a few rounds, one, maybe one or two rounds. I don't remember how many rounds I did before I bought the bag and I managed to get there with whatever I had, but there, I had some specific requirements. For one thing, uh, when I went into chemo, nobody could come in with me. My wife was not allowed in because we were uh, right in the pandemic. So my wife could not come with me and bring the bags up. I guess I could have asked, you know, for accommodations, but I did not. I felt well enough that I didn't need that. Uh, but I wanted to have something that rolls on the ground and that I could have an extension uh, arm to be able to pull with me without having to, uh, you know, bend over. Uh, because when you undergo chemo, one of the side effects is weakness. So I quickly researched bags and I ordered something from, from Amazon. Uh, and it served me well for my nine rounds of chemo and... Um, I used it for other things also, I don't remember what exactly. Uh, for one thing, I don't think I used it for my stem cell transplant because that specific procedure was uh, two weeks, more even than two weeks, two weeks and a half in the hospital. And for that, I think I used one of our bigger pieces of luggage to bring everything over with me. But for my methotrexate chemo, I had to be in the hospital every two weeks for four days. So it was a relatively short period of time. And it was every two weeks. And I went nine times because there was one round of chemo where they found that... I don't remember where they found. They found something and I couldn't get the methotrexate. I just got the rituximab. So um, we had to extend the, the number of times I went to the hospital. Um, so let me show you the the bag. This is a demo I've recorded earlier, so you can see you can pull the handle pretty high and I put it on the floor and, you know, it reaches a nice height, I can move it easily, um, which was one of my concerns for a chemo bag. And uh, then I'm going to open it and you're going to be able to see uh, inside the bag. And there, uh, yeah, uh, I still have my the stuff for, for my uh, sleep study today inside there and, and you can you know you can open the front uh, you can open uh, the, an exterior pocket you have a pocket on the side also um, and I think the video ends there um, one thing I forgot to mention is that I have um, a little uh, bag of uh, This little bag here, it comes with it comes with the big bag. Um, it's part of it. So you probably heard me just right now rip it out. It's you have Velcro on both sides and it attaches inside. So you can have toiletries or medicine in this little bag. And uh, yeah, I think I think this is great. I'm put, I'm I'm going to put the link to get the bag in my description. And as usual, I don't get any money because I value my independence. Um, and and for me it was great. I can understand so other people might think differently. Um somebody who's taller than myself or shorter than myself might have a different opinion about this bag. Uh somebody who likes to pack much more stuff than I do uh might think that it is too small. For me it was perfect. I had two bags actually with me for chemo. I had this bag which was containing Clothes and uh, diapers. When you have chemo, you can have a gut problems. So I had diapers, my clothes, my medicine, and things of the sort. And then I had a, a very small backpack that had my Chromebook in it and some chargers and electronics like earbuds and stuff like that. Uh, so I had two bags for chemo, but this bag was perfect for me. I already had the backpack from way back when I just reused it and at first I used a different bag than this one but the, the, the other bag that I used uh, as I recall I had to 
carry it. I had to pull it off the floor and carry it around. So I wanted to have something with wheels so that I wouldn't have to work so hard um, to carry my stuff around. And, and, and this was perfect. Uh, I, I reduced quite a bit the amount of stuff that I thought I needed at the hospital, uh, like credit cards and stuff like that and keys and, and, you know, I've, I've reduced it to the minimum. And usually I would go to the hospital wearing the clothes that I would wear f- for chemo. And then the next day I would change clothes and so on and so forth. But I didn't go to the hospital in these clothes, for instance. This is very inappropriate for chemo. Um, because, uh, well, anyway, they would, the nurses would tell you to change into a gown. So what I did instead of wearing this is I wore a, a t-shirt and sweatpants and I did have a fleece on top of it. Uh, but I, I reduced a lot what I would carry with me to go to the hospital so that it would fit into this bag and my other bag. And that was it. That was done. Nothing more. Um, so again, I think this is a great bag. Um, if you need, if you need to be admitted to the hospital for chemo, I recommend it. And I recommend that you keep the amount of stuff you bring to the hospital to a minimum. Uh, I even bought the Chromebook because of, uh, because of the hospital, because I, I have a, a Dell laptop, but the Dell laptop is too big. It's too big to carry when you're undergoing chemo and it's too too big I think even to fit in their safe I didn't really try it because I didn't bring it with me at the hospital and I didn't put it in the safe but I did I did take measurements with a tape measure of my laptop and of the safe and I'm pretty sure that it would not fit in the safe uh, where versus the Chromebook the Chromebook does fit in the safe without any problems um so yeah, this bag gets gets a thumbs up, two thumbs up, three thumbs up if I had three thumb three thumbs. See you later.